We're making beer. And to get beer, we need fermentation. What's fermentation? Half magic, half marvel, half poetry. What it really is, is when the yeast consume the sugars from our wort to give us alcohol and CO2. Let's start by preparing our fermenters. I already rinsed my fermenter with unscented soap and I'm now gonna rinse it with no rinse sanitizer. And then once I do that, I need yeast, I need an airlock, and we need a funnel. Don't forget to sanitize your funnel. The reason we aerate our wort is so our yeast have enough oxygen to survive and thrive. And there are many ways to aerate your wort. We're gonna go with the good old fashioned, shake the out of this fermenter. Here we go for a few minutes to give some oxygen to our yeast and wort. Now let's add our yeast. We're using a yeast package that's already been sanitized and I've cut the top open with scissors and I'm just gonna pour it in. And then we're going to put the airlock on the top. Airlocks are amazing, they're very affordable and they're an incredible device that ensure that your fermentation goes as planned. These are two varieties. You put them on top of your fermenter and basically they're filled with no rinse sanitizer. The no rinse sanitizer allows air to not come in and influence your beer. Also too, if we didn't put the airlock on top of our fermenter, as the yeast eats the sugar from our wort or unfermented beer and gives us CO2, that CO2 will force another type of lid to just pop off our fermenter. Lastly, we use airlocks for looking at the bubbles. And as airlocks are bubbling, that tells us about the amount of activity going on in fermentation itself as the yeast is eating the sugars. The fun continues. Now we need to find the perfect place for our fermenter to sit for a few weeks while the yeast give us beer. Yeah! We often like a dark place because that will avoid sunlight that might cause skunking a dreaded off flavor from light. We also wanna make sure that the temperature of wherever our fermenter sits is steady and stable. Look at the directions for your yeast and make sure that you're having your fermenter sit in a place that will give you that ideal fermentation temperature. And now that our fermenter is happily tucked away, we wait. And you know what I like to do while I wait for something? I relax, I don't worry, and I have a homebrew. Remember everyone, homebrewing makes life more delicious. We're here on the journey with you. Cheers.